Buonasera, 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 bentornati su Genshin Impact Allora, mi dicono che... Cosa? Chi? Dove? Perché? Cosa stai dicendo? Non c'ho... Eh sì, forse c'ho un po' di storie, ok Ho un po' di... Ah oh sì, ho un po' di storie... Ho un po' di storie arretrate. Devo ammetterlo. Ma! Focus Experience. Possiamo aspettare due giorni e... Proseguire con la nostra avventura a Natlan. Perché nuove avventure ci attendono. In quel della terra del fuoco, del sole e della potenza. Del sole forse manco tanto. Mi sa che assumero ce n'è di più di sole. Però fuoco, senza ombra di dubbio. Ci eravamo lasciati l'ultima volta dopo aver salvato Cacina, se non ricordo, sono terribile con i nomi, dopo aver salvato Cacina dal Regno dei Morti e aver visto la nostra Pyro Arcon perdere tutti i suoi poteri o giù di lì. Eh no, ma da, eh dai, eh no, che dobbiamo fare? No, che non andiamo, andiamo. Che problema c'è? Tanto devo salvare tutti io. Mi chiedo um, quale sia adesso il piano. Nel senso che la nostra Pyro Arcon ci ha detto molto chiaramente che è importante non far sapere alla gente che... Lei purtroppo ha perso i suoi poteri e ci ha chiesto di aspettare. I see. Thank you so much. The Adventurer's Guild has been overwhelmed these days. No worries at all. We've always valued the strength of adventurers. Given the current situation, it's vital that we all work together. Since we're facing the same enemies, I'll send you the intel we've collected on the Abyss so far. Then we can take a look at how to coordinate our efforts. Ciao Catherine, you two have come just in time. I've got some good news. The Pyro Archon has finished assembling her forces and stationed them all across Natlan. Ah, è un proprio un esercito? E guerra? We can no longer afford to act only after receiving news of an invasion. Ah, ok, quindi non possono più reagire, devono prevenire. Eh sì, così sono più veloci. Yes, precisely. This should also allow us to focus on gathering information rather than running around and trying to tackle everything at once. Ha senso, ha senso. So please also take a chance to relax you two. You've been working hard these days and this will be a good opportunity for some well-deserved rest. So that's the plan. We can finally stop and take a break. Ma non abbiamo fatto un cazzo per tre mesi. <laughs> Mmm, è ancora un problema, eh. Ok. The movements of the abyss are always unpredictable. There have also been times when it suddenly became more active in the past. The people here generally see it as something like an acute natural disaster. Once the disaster is over, everyone will return to their normal lives. We just all hope that day will be sooner rather than later. Oh, right. Ci sta. Most people have no idea just how bad the situation has gotten in the night. Ah, è vero, perché giustamente loro non hanno una vera spiegazione del motivo per cui la l'aggressività del um, della bis è diventata così elevata rispetto a prima. Noi lo sappiamo, c'è cioè stato un bordello del Night Kingdom che sta praticamente venendo deturpato dalla bis stesso e dall'oscurità, dalla corruzione, come la chiamano loro. Ah no, cazzo. Barbara mi ha avvisato di questa roba. Praticamente, 
eh, per i posteri, perché mi immagino che questa roba la patcheranno a un certo punto, in questa patch si sono dimenticati il doppiaggio di Cacina. Che... Ma no, un po' così. Però vabbè. And yet, now really isn't the time to say I don't recover anyway. I wanted to do something to help. Quindi lo... <ride> Faccio il doppiaggio. I heard the Pyrarchon is gathering warriors to be stationed in the more remote areas. So I came here to sign up. Brava, che cina. <ride> don't think I haven't heard about all the things that you've been doing. With everyone working so hard, I've got to do my part too. Sono bravo. Oh, by the way... Xylon told me she was ordered to forge your ancient name. She said that she's all set and we can. Ma non l'ho finito! Xylon è un true master. Non solo she can forge ancient names, ma anche but also all sorts of new and fun things. She's always got a pile of commission on her plate, so you usually have to wait a while before she finishes something. In this case, though, she's completely cleared a schedule to work with you. She wants to give you their full attention. Io penso che la mia gola domani ne risentirà di tutto questo doppiaggio. Well, I've already signed up as a warrior, so all I have to do for now is wait for my assignment. If it's okay, maybe we can go to seek Silo together. She wouldn't turn me away, right? I mean, I hope she wouldn't. Hey, have some confidence in yourself, Kachina. After all, you're already a victor of the Night Warden Wars. Siamo tutti fierissimi di te. È vero, Kachina, ora che sei data da fare. Ha preso anche calci in culo possenti, è rimasta intrappolata nell'oscurità infinita per un sacco di tempo. Cioè, alla fine, siamo fieri di te. Ah! On second thought, uh, maybe I'll just find a hole in the ground to jump into the night for a while. Perché? Ti abbiamo appena detto che siamo fieri di te. Non dovrebbe essere l'esatto opposto la tua reazione? E dirigiamoci da Xylolen. Cause I got a picture, I'm coming with you, dear Maria, come in. Can't catch me! Devo entrare? No, forse no. Oh, attenzione, proprio lei! La panterona? La cougar? Xylulen, I've brought a person who needs an ancient name. She's super amazing, and I've already learned tons of stuff from her. I can vouch that she's really worthy of a hero's name. Ah, uh, yes, so I've heard. So young, and yet you've already got quite the reputation. Fratome, Yero in persona. Wait, are you, are you Outlanders? Si. Yep, we're travelers who just arrived in Outland not too long ago. No, I, I mean, I was aware that you're travelers. It's just no one told me that you're outlanders. No, noi non siamo travelers, siamo il traveler. Huh? You're saying the Pyrarchon didn't tell you? No, the only thing she said is that a new hero had pledged herself to the plan, but we need to forge an ancient name to ensure she'd be able to return safe and sound. And she did mention that it would be quite difficult to forge an ancient name for them, but... At the time, I thought she was just commenting on my skills. No, non penso vorresti insultarti. Where the uh, true difficulty lies now. <sighs> Are you upset? No, oh, I, I wouldn't go that far. I'm used to it, really. I just uh, need a moment to process things. Cosa ne è della mia vita? Sono qui in live a doppiare un personaggio di Genshin Impact. Una ragazzina. Di Genshin Impact. The Pyro Archon's requests are always difficult to fulfill. Da qualche parte devo aver sbagliato nella mia vita per essere arrivato qua. Honestly, it's probably for the better that she didn't bring this up at the time. Anyway, I can't argue with her if she isn't here, and it'd be pointless to take my anger out on someone else. But, ooh, just because I understand her rationale doesn't make me any less upset, after all. She must have known that forging an ancient name for an outlander is an impossible task. Vabbè, dai. 
Subiamo, sarà così impossibile. Un ancient name is a symbol of a hero's spirit and glory, which grows even meglio di noi. Heavier as generations of successors ah. inherit it. Giustamente noi non abbiamo generazioni di, di antenati. We forge ancient names by engraving the heroic deeds of an individual who will become the first hero of that particular name. <laughs> Beh, meglio di noi. Yeah, I saw countless feats recorded in their adventure handbook. It felt like they could do anything. But they were all performed outside of Natland, correct? Ma non ma che vuol dire? Ma non Per quindi fuori da Natland non vale, cioè cosa, cosa i confini sono solo ideologie. Sono solo basati su concetti inventati. Sai lo di cosa stavamo parlando, dai. Then those deeds haven't been recorded by the Night Kingdom. Ma non ci siamo stati nel Night Kingdom! Ci siamo stati nel Night Kingdom, abbiamo salvato Kachina, abbiamo salvato il mondo! Mawika, of all people, should know better than anyone. Yet she still entrusted the task of forging the ancient name to me. Oh, I don't get eh, it. Nobody's happy being asked to do the impossible. Però se te l'ha chiesto vuol dire che un modo ci sarà, no? Why do I feel like this happened before? I think last time Xylo and Giuseppe just ended up running dozens of laps around the hills nearby. Yeah, don't remind me. Let's just uh, focus on how we can pull this off. How to achieve the impossible. You mean you're already willing to accept the task? Well, what else can I do? <laughs> Just I it's already done. Tocca. It's not like I can outright fa? defy the order of my own. Tocca, archon. tocca. Che succede? Ok. Ci sono i troppo di Genshin, buona sapersi. Beh. If she gave me this order, then she believes the ancient name is an indispensable part of her plan and that I'll be able to find a way to make it happen. In other words, the order is an affirmation of my abilities. Bravissima, bravissima. Oh, not only has she accepted the task, but now she's looking for silver linings? Eh, beh, ora che ci penso basta che facciamo imprese eroiche qui a Natlan. Cioè, alla fine non è niente di nuovo per noi. Siamo anche abituati abbastanza a fare imprese eroiche. Eh, L'abbiamo già fatto <ride> ovunque, a Liue... Eh, Bonstad, Sumeru, Inazuma sì, Dappertutto, fondamentalmente Anche nei posti che non sono segnati sulle mappe Tipo Sankonomia O Enconomia, non mi ricordo come si chiama Yeah, let's see if we can find some special way to pull this off <coughs> If we really can make it work uh, I'm sure we can still go back and talk to the, to the Pyro Archon, right? The key is getting the Wyab To somehow acknowledge the Traveler's existence and record her heroic deeds. Mm. We heard the voice of Awaya when we were in the Night Kingdom before. Esatto. We had a whole conversation with her. Quindi siamo già raccomandati. Again, maybe we can figure something out together. Well, every tribe has their own Wyab. How do we know if the one you met is indeed the best one for us to talk to? Beh, perché ha già visto delle Plus, nostre azioni. Plus, considering no? the unprecedented nature of this situation, i have a feeling that the acknowledgement of one Wyab alone would probably not be enough. Serio? Dobbiamo beccarci... There's a level of knowledge that I do not possess. We need to find a consultant who's an expert on all things Night Kingdom and Wyab. The first person who comes to mind is Seat Lolly at the Masters of the Nightwind. The one we call Granny Eatstly. Eatstly? Ma non Speriamo. 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 
Non sarà molto felice con noi, perché? Ah, giusto, le abbiamo spaccato tutto. Ci aveva dato quell'artefatto che ci ha detto, oh, mi raccomando, non rompetelo, noi gliel'abbiamo rotto. Huh? L'abbiamo fatto per salvare Kachina. In that case, I guess your only option is to try to emphasize that this is an important order from the Pyro Archon. Hopefully, Seat Lolly would still want to show respect to the Archon. Eh, possiamo chiederlo direttamente a lei? Cioè, al Pyro Archon di intercedere per noi? Ho scritto un letto su tuo nome. Se puoi trovare qualcuno per deliverlo e dire alcune cose su di te, allora questo potrebbe aiutare anche. Pure. Ok, let's ask Kimich to deliver the letter. He understands the whole situation and is already familiar face to her. I might sure hope so Hal won't interrupt when he's talking, though. All right, Kimich is a seasoned negotiator. I trust that he'll know the best things to say. Great, then I'll go contact him right now. Uh, please just give me a moment to write the letter, and we can meet up near the Statue of the Seven later. Va bene. Take a stroll. Vabbè. Una camminata di, di saluto praticamente. Eccoci. <coughs> Kinich sarà doppiato? Spero di sì. We meet again. <laughs> non è doppiato, porca puttana. We meet again. Kachina told me everything. I'll deliver the message to the master of Nightwing and convince it Lali to give you a chance. I'll also take this chance to explain what happened to the Spirit Speaker Stone and offer an apology in person. Yeah, I'm sorry to put this on you, Kanich. It's just that you're probably the only person who knows how to deal with her. It's alright. We we're all working for the sake of the Pyrarchon's plan of thrall. Everyone here understands how dire the situation has become. Uh, wait, so Kachina and the Traveler also know about the plan? Eh, che no! Mm -hmm. Because we all saw a hero of the past rematerialize right before our eyes. And then Mulani said that a ton of knowledge and memories suddenly floated her brain. The Pyrarchon explained everything when we came back from the Night Kingdom, including the reason behind the appearance of the hero, as well as the current state of the Night Kingdom. Mica precisa l'ho beccata, eh? Quando ho chiuso le labbra. Ah, pulito. She mentioned there are six heroes and that Shilonin is one of four that have already been acknowledged. Oh, scusa, devo oh. fare io. <laughs> well, then I suppose there's no need to keep any secrets between us. Having companions walk by your side is perhaps the best solace when facing such a bleak reality. I have another piece of insult to share. We've pretty much identified the person who rescued the captain in the stadium of the Sacred Flame. His name is Auroran, and he also hails from the Master of the Night Wind. However, he spent most of his life living out in the wilderness by himself, away from the rest of the tribe. That's why his disappearance went unnoticed. By the time Sid Lolly finally realized that he was gone, no one had heard from him for quite a while. Uh, Sid Lolly knows him too? That's right. Auroran was an orphan raised by the chief of the Masters of the Night Wind and many other kind hearted people in this tribe in his tribe. Still, he has had something of an odd reputation his whole life. God, huh? Given how the Masters of the Nightwind left a babble about dreams and Quindi revelations, tizio ha curato capita ha aiutato capitano. Bunch to most. But the dreams are really sure. I've never met Auroran, but if they consider him the odd one, <laughs> he's gotta be pretty far out there. Posbarellato. That's right. So in that sense, Hororon and Sitalali actually have quite a bit in common, which is why they get along pretty well. Huh. Makes sense. But mm. Paimon wonders how Sitalali could be the first one to notice Aurora's disappearance if she spends the whole day in her room. As of now, we still haven't been able to confirm whether Aurora joined the Fetchui voluntarily or if he was coerced. Sitalali is probably here to prove that Aurora wasn't betrayed, hasn't betrayed his people. I plan to use this as leverage when I go to talk with her. Oh, so if I'm following, you mean we'll help her investigate Roron and the captain's whereabouts? Mm, okay. Yes, if you're all on board with, it, with the idea that it becomes mutually beneficial collaboration rather than just a one-sided request. Minchia, che sveglio, eh? 
Even though I don't think Sitalali is the kind of person to turn down another, an order from the Pyroarch, working together with us will help her focus and not get distracted by the whole Aurora situation. Sì, ha senso, tanto comunque dovremo farlo prima o poi sta roba, quindi. Ha senso farlo adesso. Almeno mettiamo qualcosa sul tavolo, sul piatto anche noi. Ah, this is a pretty well thought out plan, as expected of Molly Poke and Each. Then, uh, yeah, I'll leave my letter to you. Let's hope Seat Lolly can meet at the stadium in two days. Sure, I'll head out right away. Take care out there, Kimich. I'll be heading back, back as well. There are a few, st there are still a few things I need to pack. Okay, then let's part ways for now. I'll see you in a couple of days. Va bene, a couple of days? Tacci. Quando cosa? Piri, pi, pi, pi. Aspettiamo. Non c'è tipo un modo per schippare sta roba? C'è un po'... Voglio dire, è davvero necessario? Non sono ancora... The morning of the day after tomorrow, quindi sarà qui qua. Eccoci. Qui e dai, vabbè, affanculo. Shilolen si chiama, quindi non è Xylonen. Xylonen, no, perché mi do questi nomi difficilissimi. Oh, Traveler in Paimon. I have uh, bad news. Seat Lolly did not reply to our request. Although, oh, no. I suppose I'm not too surprised. Huh? You mean she didn't even bother to give Kanichi a response? Hmm. Well, she really does have quite the ego then. Hmm. Yeah, well, she can be also quite eccentric, though. She's one of the most gifted people around. Even the Masters of the Night went off and struggled to work with her. My guess is that she probably has other reasons for not deigning us with a response. But let's go to the stadium and see if we can meet her there. If we do get a chance to talk to her in person, we can still try to work something out. That's true. Let's go! Let's go! Hmm. You're at the stadium of the first place. Lol is not here. There. E quando mai? Paimon doesn't see anybody. Seems she's just not gonna show up, huh? <sighs> well, we tried to be as considerate as we could, but she's under no obligation to help. Ci abbiamo provato, dai, almeno quello. Esatto. A subject? Well, if you ask me, I'd say we're all more like friends with the Archon. Ha maggior ragione. Io preferirei aiutare un amico piuttosto che seguire un ordine. Yes, Mawika is our leader, but that doesn't mean there's any kind of tall barrier between us and her. The only thing is that she often has very high expectations of us. Sì, abbiamo notato. So even though she's super powerful, it sounds like she's actually pretty down to earth and easy to get along with. Primo Arcon che fa sta cosa, eh? Incredibile. Ah, yeah. Does she think she can ignore us just because she's famous? You all talk know. about her like she's some kind of huge deal, but she didn't even bother to reply to our letter. Seriously, if she didn't want to come, she could at least let us know. If that's what aging does to you, Paimon never wants to get old. <coughs> oh, really? So, that's how you see me? Huh? Who's there? Who's talking next to Paimon? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just a disgruntled old hag, right? Uh, come on, relax. I'm sure my bark's worse than my bite. Huh? See Lolly. Oh. Uh -huh. Non mi sembra particolarmente vecchia. You see Lolly? Your granny eats to me? Yes, granny eats to me. 
but emphasis on Eatsley, not Granny. Che è fighissimo come personaggio. Mi ricorda un sacco di Relia di League of Legends. Oh, you must know this trope from light novels, surely. They use it all the time. The young man who's actually the oldest person in the room. The girl next door who turns out to be a seasoned veteran. The wise sage who looks like a little kid. Oh, wipe that look off your face! Che figa che è. Seriously never seen an older lady that doesn't look her age? <sighs> okay, well, don't go thinking it's a trick either. See? I'm barely wearing any makeup. <laughs> Did I forget to mention? She's called Granny, but uh, she's actually pretty young. Sì, infatti, cioè, poi ci lamentiamo del pero argon, ma pure te, cazzo. I guess we've just gotten used to it. Eh, capito, però. I'm sorry. So, how old are you actually? What? How dare you? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady her age? Ma anche Pai è una lady, quindi... Dai, su, non farò l'offesa. So, if you're upset, you can just take it out on me. All right. I was only joking. I didn't mean to chastise anyone. There's really no need to take all this so seriously. If anything, I'm going to feel awkward if we keep this going. I received Kenich's letter and was planning to attend this meeting. Since I had already decided to come, i figured there was no need to draft a reply that simply said, understood. Besides, just showing up is the most important part. No? But, of okay. course. Comunque le esse sibilline che mi spaccano i timpani e mi sono un po' sul cazzo. Eh? As they're trying to leave the house. <laughs> it certainly was a bit awkward to see that everyone else had arrived before me. At first, I was thinking of quietly sneaking over, but since you were already here waiting for me, I started to think about how I should phrase my apology. <laughs> Only to hear you all talking smack about me. Bello, io ho fatto questi occhi anche. Anyway, that's the whole story. Uh, <clears throat> honestly, it's not like I owed you an explanation anyway. Vabbè, non è importante, arriviamo al punto, dai. Was she feeling embarrassed just now? Vabbè, dai. Dobbiamo davvero concentrarci su questo. She waiting for us to carry on the conversation. Everything she says is like a joke. I'm not sure if it's true. Rude to love or even more rude not to love. Non ti fare problemi. Tu porta avanti la conversazione e basta. The masters of the night winds said they struggled dealing with her. Huh, I wonder if the feeling is mutual. Huh, she seems to be pretty awkward herself. Everything she does and says seems a little forced. <coughs> anyway, Shilonen, I heard that you require my help in crafting an ancient name. Correct. The situation isn't like anything we've handled before. Let me explain. Ah, I see. So Mauika has asked you to forge an ancient name for an outlander. Well, that would be a first. And you've also heard all about Auroron. I must say, he's always been a good kid. I can't see him joining the Fatui of his own volition. He must have been coerced somehow. Lo scopriremo, siamo qui a posto. Yeah, that's what we came here to ask you. We'll help bring Auroron back if you help us solve the problems of forging the ancient name. What do you think? Hmm. Uh, I suppose I'll just call you Traveler for now. Traveler, come here. Let me take a good look at you. So bello, eh. Che c'è? Wealth leads to unending conflicts between people. Yet you alone transcend the value of gold. Baleful thunder and wrathful waves bring terror to mortal hearts. Yet again and again, you've braved them to find new worlds. A weary yet free soul. Even the most verdant leaf in the forest will pray for your happiness and safe passage. Che cazzo hai detto? Those are all the things that I could see in you. 
You've experienced far more mm. than even most mortals could dream of. You possess the heart of a sincere hero, along with the conviction to lift a torch above your head and walk headlong into the night. Huh? Okay. Don't move. There's something here. Huh? Hiya. What, what thing? Don't scare Paimon. Is the traveler going to be okay? <sighs> ah, shoo. Guess oh, that should do it. You've just returned from the Night oh, Kingdom, okay. <laughs> so some fragments of souls were still stuck to your body. No need to worry. I've just cleared out the last of them. Hai rimosso delle anime. Vabbè, non la vedrei proprio da questo punto di vista. If left unattended, the most it could do is stir up some chaos in your mind and generally worsen your mood. Oh, bella roba da quella. Better to get rid of them. Che sonno. Grazie. It was nothing. Shilonen, let's follow your proposal. Once you've brought Aurora on back, I'll take you to see the Lord of the Night. Dai, chi è il Lord of the Night? The Lord of the Night? But don't we need to talk to the Wyab of the tribes? Something this important is beyond their jurisdiction. Ah, si? Only the Lord of the Night can decide whether we can grant an ancient name to one who does not hail from our lands. The Lord ah. of the Night is an ancient entity that rules over the entire Night Kingdom, constantly borrowing the power of the Sacred Flame to combat corrosion from the abyss. Oh, so mm. you're basically saying it's even more powerful than the Wyab of the tribes. Well, that sort of makes sense, being the lord of the entire Night Kingdom and all. Uh, not exactly. It's not so much that one's more powerful than the other. Uh, but never mind. That's not important. It would take too much time to explain. Vabbè, non mi interessa. Listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. Non sono così interessato the Lord of the Night is currently in a deep slumber, and we can only communicate with its consciousness while in a trance. In other words, in a dream. But okay. I will need to prepare a few more things if we are to hold a ceremony figurati. to achieve the state of the trance. I'll make a list. Can any of you get everything for me? I can go. Certo. It'll probably oh, be a long okay. list, so better leave it to someone who knows all the local vendors. Sounds Annoying. good! Then we'll go with St. Lolly to track down Aurora! Okay. Phew, the Fatui are nothing to scoff at, so please, be careful during your investigation. If you need any help, just come find me. Yep, we'll be sure to play it safe! All right, now it's time for us to catch that brat and bring him back. <sighs> oh, uh, I'm sorry I made you wait earlier. Oh, it was actually because I decided to swing by Auroran's place to look for clues. Um, he has always lived alone. Investigatrice. And I found a broken jar in his house. There was also something off about his phlogiston aphids, which I assume is because their keeper has been gone for quite some time. Allora, mentre alzo la, la scrivania, vorrei uh, riportare alla mente dei gentili ascoltatori. Um, no, facciamo che non ve lo ricordo. Broken Jar. Chi sa, sa. Chi non sa, meglio per voi. Proseguiamo. And interestingly enough, I saw some Dio mio, va bene. That did not match any of our local weapons. My guess is they were left by Snezhnayan arms. Snezhnayan! Oh, sounds like the Fatui broke into his house mm. and took him hostage. Può essere. But why would they kidnap a kid who just spends his days living in the country and raising aphids? He's effetti. only in his 20s. What would they want with him? <laughs> That's not to say that I believe he's totally innocent, of course. Since he's the only one who was kidnapped out of everyone in Natlan, he must have done something to attract their attention. Something. In any case, orecchie, we'll get to the bottom of this once we manage to get him back here. I'm okay. truly sorry to put you two through all this trouble with me. But uh, please help me get him back. You can count on us! All right, then let's start by heading to where Auroran was seen last. Ovvero? Dove l'hanno trovato l'ultima volta? Nel countryside, l'aveva detto, quindi... Oh no, è lontanissimo da tutto. Sai che mi conviene andare qua. 
Mi conviene andare qua. Uh, di qua, giusto? Mm, mi sopra ammazzare. Posto. Ah, lì c'è un... Um, c'è un domain. Domain expansion. Cos'è che ci fanno? Io non la no, no, sto cagando di striscio, ve lo dico con molta sincerità. Ah, ok, qua ci sono... Ehm... Materiali per le abilità. <coughs> Problema di Natlan è che è un altro intero continente da esplorare. Io non ce la faccio più. È da Sumeru che ho detto basta. Mi spiace, ma... Non fa per me. Mi sono impegnato con Monstad, con l'Iwe già di meno. Con oh, Inazuma un bel po'. Su Mero già. Mm. Ho sentito che ha detto 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 che Or perhaps trying to extract information. Mm. However, I doubt anyone would believe me, given there are no signs of a fight. Mm. Didn't Kanich say that she's a big name in that land? Feels kind of weird to see her so frustrated and helpless like this. Poverina. Dai, dici di più. Well, he was left at the side of the road as an infant. And the people of the tribe took him in. You could say that everyone had a hand in raising him. Mm, era il figlio del popolo, diciamo. He learned a lot from us. And once he reached adulthood, he built himself a house out in the countryside. He spends most of his days growing vegetables and raising aphids, living off of what he harvests from the garden. <sighs> He's always been such a good kid. He would even get his friends to deliver whole bags of fresh produce to my place. Oh, che carino, vi stava corrompendo, vedi, un bastardo, un mafioso. Vedi, non mi sembra che sia una bella persona. Ah, beh, vediamo cosa c'è un ragazzino a posto. Lui può rispondere a tutte le nostre domande una volta che lo troviamo. Certo, certo. Lui ha raggiunto flagisti e avidi per un lungo tempo. E da quando erano disturbati, hanno secretato un tipo di flagisti speciale. Possiamo usare questa sostanza per trattare i suoi movimenti. Certo. Vediamo il trail di flagisti. Cioè, se dici un'altra volta flagisti, non mi ammazzo. Attenzione. Oh, right. I forgot your eyes. Ah, no, don't pensavo che iniziassimo a usare di nuovo l'abilità che ci permette di vedere le cose. Uh, here, give me your hand. Attenzione. Ah, quindi lei è crio? Avrei detto elettro, considerando che è tutta viola. Un cazzo di niente. Ah, no, ok. Wow, Paimon can see it now too. That's right. I used a spell to temporarily transfer a portion of my senses to you. For a short while, you'll be able to see the flogiston too. Wow, you can even share your senses with us? First time Paimon's heard anything like that. It requires a very rare spell that most people aren't adept at. But don't worry, it's a cinch for me. Between the two of you, it seems Cinch. the traveler's senses are a bit stronger than Paimon's. When I held your hand so. just now, I could sense that you've got a great affinity for Flogiston. Ma non so ne che cazzo siano questi Flogiston. Anyway, we'll need to use per favore, allora. Good luck, you two. Over here, this way! <laughs> Over here, this way. Io pensavo che usassimo sta roba che non usiamo da boh, almeno quattro nazioni tipo. What was What does she mean by deep and confusing? As far as elderly shamans go, I'd say that I'm already pretty easy to talk to. Is there any other old hag who is as fluent in the language of the youth as me? Beh, c'è Alice. But che faccia? Is speaking still not trendy enough? I've already tried my best to match their speech patterns, 
But given the looks on their faces just now, or perhaps I'm still not fashionable enough? But that can't be, right? Ugh. Don't tell me they're still getting the impression that I'm super old fashioned. Che carina, ce la sto mettendo tutta per sembrare una figa, una, una tipa cool. Just I was busy. Was in my was all in my mind. Was that? See Lolly's voice? Ah, quindi riescono a sentirla. She inspired her the same voice she also looks like she understood what's going on. Okay, let me think. Uh, it must be a side effect of the spell she cast. Uh, now that I think about arrivato. it, it's a good thing I found some helpers this time. Some things are best done with the help of friends. So you're gonna hear your thoughts, but you know why it's amazing. Something like this could only happen with Sid Lolly. Oh. Okay. They appear to be feeling quite confident. <laughs> Looks like our work will go smoothly. You better just leave it to us. Dai, fammi un po' menare le mani. Chi posso saccagnare di botte? Dai, dai, dai. Justin here is a bit odd. Let me see. Che significa? Hyman <gasps> sees a small shape here. Could it be some sort of symbol? This is a distress <gasps> signal for the masters of the night wind. Only someone from our tribe would recognize it. Mm. So Auroron was indeed being threatened. We've got to find him fast. Non era un capibara. Such a subtle mark implies that he was trying to be discreet. In other words, he was probably under the Fatui's watch. If they notice us, we can just charge in and fight them to the death. But, but what if my darling grandson is also there? I can't have him caught in the crossfire. Ma va, li saccagniamo facile. We've got to be careful, otherwise he'd get hit as well. Uh, how annoying. <sighs> no. No, I've got to stay calm and keep my composure. Forse è il caso di dirglielo che sentiamo i suoi pensieri, no? Credo che sia una cosa abbastanza importante da dire. Cioè, a me ci sarebbe il cazzo se qualcuno sentisse i miei pensieri, lo scoprisse e poi non mi dicesse che può farlo. Devo andare un attimo a recuperare il waypoint qui. No, l'ho preso? Ok, no, meno male. Avevo paura di fargli male, porra stellina. Wait a second. The phlogiston around here is jumbled up. I can also smell a mix of elements in the air. Pyro, electro, and some other elements as well. Mm. You each told us that you were super amazing. No wonder you can sense so many more things than us. Hmm. Hmm. It's about time that little brat said something nice about me. <laughs> uh, there are signs of a struggle here. Judging from what's left on the scene, there must have been a fight. But after that, the factions seem to have gone their separate ways. Both the phlogiston and the elemental traces in the air support that. Okay. Do you still remember the little mark we found before? Paimon's thinking, what if Auroron wanted to leave another distress signal? But was caught by the Fatui. Sembra abbastanza preoccupato. Il giudice di Stressing was being held by Fatui, so given the difference, I probably would have been. Given there are two signals leading from here, we should split up as well. I'll take this direction and leave the other one to you. Let's meet up again later. Roron, what the heck were you doing? It's one thing to trouble me, but now I had to bring other people into this as well. 
Ah, oh, you little brat. <laughs> and off she goes. <laughs> Traveler, did you hear all of that as well? See, si. see, si, Paimon. Once si. Lolly left, that voice went away as well. Paimon even tried calling her name inside Paimon's head, but there was no response. Quindi no, niente. So you were thinking the same Possiamo thing. Possiamo sentirla solo noi. Che roba strana, però. If we could hear what she was thinking, then she could probably also hear what we were thinking in our heads. Quindi lei non si è accorta di nulla. She that she was quite adept at this spell. And it doesn't sound like she's had any trouble with it in the past. Huh, maybe we're a special case and can hear her thoughts as a side effect. Eh, perché? C'è cosa abbiamo di speciale noi? She's really got a lively inner world. It paints quite a different picture from Paimon's first impression of her. Certo. Vabbè, ma quindi sto stronzo lo troviamo, non lo troviamo, che dobbiamo fare? Ci sono i flogiston qui però C'ho tracce di flogiston Sono tre compiti Finisce qua eh no. That's weird. The flagistan trail suddenly stops. We can't make anything of these footprints either. But he can't have just evaporated into thin air, right? We know he wasn't alone. He had all those fatui with him. Hmm, see. Sì. Pemos right, this is extremely strange. So, also, you can hear the sounds of the wind from beneath the earth. Eh? Uh -huh. <sighs> Yeah. Figa abbiamo glitchato ed è sparita Paimon Paimon? Paimon per favore non sparire Oh figa siamo tornati nell'underworld The Kingdom, come ci siamo arrivati? Che stivalozzi! Importanti, eh? But please do not move. I have no desire to hurt you. Eh, ma provaci. Ti spacco in due. I apologize that our first meeting has to take place like this. It's just that you're much like one of those animals with ears that perk up as soon as it senses danger in their environment. And given your combat proficiency, I would not have been able to gain an advantage over you if you were anywhere else in the world. However, you're now in the Night Kingdom, a familiar domain to the masters of the Night Wind. Okay, Queenie. Hello, Traveler. Che figo! The one you've been searching for. Ma scazzo, il character design ultimamente è pazzesco, eh? Sei scappato dalla custodia dei Fatui? The Fatui's custody. I see. So even Granny has told you that I was coerced by the Fatui. <laughs> I'm afraid you've been brought here by a lie. Like a false omen in the lingering smoke. My Quindi friend non è vero? left those traces to lure you here. Deceiving ah. you was never our true intent, however. It was simply the fastest and most feasible way for us to set up a meeting. Scusa me? Traveler from afar. Be careful ah. with this traveler. Her soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. It's taking all my concentration to hold on to her. It was I who tasked Auroron ah. with leaving the traces to lead you here, and I who used the Master's ritual to bring your soul to the Night Kingdom. Cos'è che hai fatto? The Master's ritual to bring your soul to the Night Kingdom? Wow! Che vuoi? I've heard much about you from the past encounters you've had with my colleagues. Given the present situation in Natlan, I would like to sincerely request a formal meeting with you in person. Okay. I will use the opportunity to explain my goals and motivations to you, as well as why I mistrust Malwika, the Pyro Archon. Okay. I believe there is little reason for you to blindly follow her plan. If you would like to hear our intel, then find us to the east of the stadium. But remember, not a word of this to anyone. 
I would like to avoid any further conflict. Fighissimo. È un plot twist enorme se ci pensate perché in un modo o nell'altro i fatuisti sono sempre posizionati come diretti avversari, come problemi in qualche modo per noi. Qui invece Capitano sta facendo il contrario. A merito o meno, poi lo scopriremo chiaramente andando avanti, io dubito seriamente che Capitano sia in qualche modo il buono della situazione. Però è interessante il fatto che ci sia il punto di domanda. Nel senso, e se, e se fosse davvero lui ad avere ragione fra i due? E se il Pyro Arcon non ci dovessimo fidare di lei per qualche motivo? Perché ancora una volta, è una roba che avevo già detto ormai anni fa, me lo ricordo tuttora, quando avevamo incontrato il Sibling per la prima volta. Eh, lui diceva molto chiaramente, continua con il tuo percorso, vai avanti e tu stessa scoprirai che io ho ragione alla fine del percorso. E tu stessa capirai perché sto facendo tutto quello che sto facendo e tu stessa sarai dalla mia parte al termine della tua avventura. Che è un modo eccellente, il modo migliore di costruire un cattivo, secondo me. Perché se ci pensate, tutti i cattivi belli, interessanti, sono quelli che danno la possibilità a chi sta davanti allo schermo o al manga o quello che è, di dire, ah, e se avesse ragione? Quello che sta dicendo ha molto senso. E questa cosa è figa perché, cioè, è facile immedesimarsi nel protagonista, immedesimarsi nell'eroe. È molto difficile immedesimarsi nel cattivo. Tutti da bambini passano la fase del io voglio essere il cattivo, ok? Però è una roba abbastanza infantile. Perché poi andando avanti ti rendi conto che i cattivi spesso e volentieri sono semplicemente gente che fa cose che per la morale, diciamo, complessiva, per la morale generale, mh, fa qualcosa che non andrebbe fatto. Tipo, Crudelia de Mon voleva ammazzare dei cani innocenti. Uh, il cattivo di Tarzan voleva ammazzare Tarzan e i gorilla eh, il cattivo mi, mi vengono solo esempi della Disney perché sono comunque quelli più semplici no? Eh, no, no, no non lo so tutti in generale tutti, tutti i cattivi bene o male fanno qualcosa di cattivo come giusto che sia però sono davvero pochi e secondo me sono quelli più interessanti, appunto, quelli che ti fanno mettere nei loro panni e ti fanno dire, cazzo, parliamone. E questo è... sembra essere quello che Capitano vorrà fare con noi. Quindi, andiamo a incontrarlo. Anche perché, appunto, non ci ha aggredito. Cioè, non è... Non lo sta facendo perché magari è in una situazione di svantaggio e quindi sta cercando di parlare per uscirsene fuori dai guai, no? È proprio molto chiaramente un tentativo di avere una discussione sincera e diretta. Sincera non lo so, però dire quantomeno diretta. Eh, tutto a posto, vai, non ti preoccupare. Cosa mi fai? Vabbè, i wouldn't have taken you on this trip with me. Vabbè, ma non. cioè, niente di terribile. 
They were being sure they must be reasonable. What did they do? What? Should I trust them? Esatto, questo è un grosso punto di domanda, chiaramente. I could just share everything with Pyro and Sita Lovey right now, but that be meaning it. Still haven't had much dealing with either of the two of the master of the way. Now let's see if I can find anything else, ok. Beh, almeno con Paimon potresti... Tanto lo scoprirà. Nel senso, ci, andiamo, ci andremo con lei dove dobbiamo andare, quindi... Tranquilla, Paimon, grazie mille. Apprezzo molto. A posto così. Non è importante di non di limiti. Se hai bisogno di me, dica la parola. Pure il cazziatone, va bene. In any case, let's eh, take a bit more time to rest now. Ok. Pausetta? Si pauseggia? Qui lei continua a cercarli. Ah no, ce le sta controllando noi. Ti preoccupare, vai tranquilla. Let's get ready. Mm. I followed my phlegiston trail earlier to a stronghold guarded by the soldiers. I have a feeling that Aurora is probably being held inside. Oh, so it's close by. Then let's head over right away. Niente, eravamo un peso. Well, I recruited you to be my helper, which means we're in this together. Like the wind and the clouds. We either move as one or not at all. But if you like want to get up to me, Vabbè. then just be sure to fight extra hard when the time comes. No te preocupa. Che pensi mi? Uh, andiamo di qua. Facciamo prima. Oh maronnissima. Questi gradini del cazzo. Chi devo menare? Dove, dove? Sono i Fatui! Da quanto tempo? Sì, sembra lo stesso. Lui è un PG Electro, invece. Ok. Avrei detto lui ghiaccio e lei Electro. Ah no, la color palette è sbagliata. I cannot see the sun. Uh, what? Without the sun, I cannot see the truth. You are currently blocking the light, so I must beseech you to move aside. Huh? Uh, okay, Mr. Philosopher. That's enough mumbo jumbo. Ti ho solo chiesto di levarti dal cazzo, eh, non è così difficile. Wow. I'm going to rip that guy's head right off. See, Lolly's struggling to control her temper now. Are you ready? Let's go kick their butts. Okay. On my count. Three, two, one. Dove va? Che fa? Aspetta. Still trying to resist? You've got no idea who you're up against. No. What's that gun? Polverizzati Posso così Ah ci sono ancora Fuck Andiamo Posso? Fatto? Finito? Finito, facile Aurora Granny She's called Granny Eatsley, but it's still kind of weird hearing someone actually call her Granny. And greetings to you too, other Granny. Oi! Che cazzo? What did you just call her? C'ha 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 la tua età tipo. Is that not right? You are Granny's friend, are you not? You seem to be approximately the same age as her, so I figured you're also a Granny. How many times have I told you? It doesn't work like mm. that. There are a lot of people who look about the same age as me. You can't go around calling everyone Gramps or Granny. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's not a child, is he? <laughs> Don't tell Paimon he's one of those people who look like an adult but are actually only eight or nine years old. Oh, 
Your words have pierced my heart like a thorn vine. Given how hard those thorns are to remove, I may just need to find a pair of tweezers. Why are you so upset? You can just say yes or no. Chat on Johnny Ball. Chat on Johnny Do. Granny always taught me to show gratitude where it's due, and since the masters of the night wind raised me collectively, I basically see everyone above a certain age as an elder I should look up to. Hmm. So we trim, but it doesn't feel like he's putting on. I guess we do whatever could. Okay, I'm gonna say it's pretty much what I say. Hmm. Ok, è un po' particolare il modo in cui si sta comportando, nel senso ha detto di far finta di niente, però... Però non è detto che loro due... E se fossero due persone diverse? Cioè, nel senso, questo mi sembra l'originale, anche perché Sirlali conferma che si comporta effettivamente come l'originale. Quindi, a meno che non sia particolarmente bravo come attore, mi sembra sensato uh, pensare che lui sia effettivamente il vero Roran. Non sappiamo però nulla su quello che era il personaggio che ci ha richiamato nel mondo distorto. E questo spiegherebbe anche il perché ci ha chiesto di far finta di niente, no? Perché così, anche se incontriamo l'originale, non parliamo di quello che è successo prima e quindi lui non ci può dire no, wait, quello non ero io. Quindi, vabbè, vediamo come procede la cosa. Exactly. Around. But if you keep that up, then everyone's going to be your senior. And do you think saying all of this is going to save you from a scolding, Auroron? Auroron? Haven't I told you a hundred times since you were a kid? Heed the three warnings. Be wary of bees prowling around, scammers looking for their next victim, and strange people who appear out of nowhere. Oh, mm. so you do remember, and you okay. just chose to ignore them. <laughs> I always knew that living on your own was going to get you into trouble sooner or later. But getting kidnapped? <laughs> that really takes the cake. You won't always be able to rely on other people coming perché. to your rescue, you know. You're just lucky we got here when we did. Or we might be launching another search and rescue operation to find out where they put your severed head. I'm sorry, Gray. Okay. I'll be more careful next time. Next time? <laughs> oh, good one. You think there'll be a next time after this? Not a chance. Oh, no. <sighs> They didn't hurt you, did they? No, they just asked me a lot of questions about Natlan's terrain and made me draw a map of the ley line distribution. Okay, now answer okay. me honestly. Were you the one who helped the captain escape after his battle with the Pyro Archon? Yes. <laughs> no, you can't, no. <laughs> Why did you do it? Because, the, okay. because they said they would need my help from there on out. They also said that if I refused, they'd just come to you, Granny, and they'd already figured out a way to make you do their bidding. Ooh. Hey! I'm no ordinary Granny! Okay. Would they really dare to come after me? And you! Did the gods give you a brain just for you to not use it? Did you really believe everything they said at face value and not stop to think? Oh, thankfully, the Pyro Archon only asked that we find hmm. the mysterious individual from the Masters of the Nightwind and didn't slap your name on a wanted poster. Don't think for a second that she doesn't know what's happening. Even if the yeah, truth yeah, I... that you see will soon manifest into reality, there is still no need to preemptively panic. Have you forgotten the words that I've taught you? I'm sorry. Ugh, hmm. forget it. We can submit the details of this camp and the defeated Fatui as evidence of your innocence. Mm. Let's clean this place okay. up and get back to the city. Auroron, you better remember this lesson well and seriously reflect on your actions. Also, once we return to the city, come to the speaker's chamber with me. I'll need you to explain everything. Sounds good. Should I bring some of my homegrown vegetables as well? You're... Vegetables? Yes. Perché lo I grow a lot of fresh produce in my garden. 
I hope the Pyro Archon won't be too picky about this election. Ah, uh, now's not the time to be thinking about that. If you do come face to face with the Pyro Archon, the first thing you should do is... Apology. Three warnings. No. Huh? Uh, no! You should emphasize that you were not in cahoots with the Fatui! How exactly did the Masters raise this guy? Oh. Right. Mi sa che è un po' toccatello il buon Aurora. Go to the speaker's chamber. Quindi lo riportiamo direttamente a Mahuika. Perfetto. Bravi tutti. So Koyoba, che nome fantastico. He promised to help him in exchange for seat Lolly's safety. That's right. I'm sorry. Now that you know Auroron was only trying to protect another member of his tribe, could I ask you to petition the Pyro Archon for her forgiveness? We'll give her a full report. We'll let you know once she's reached a decision. Will I need to stay here? Technically, yes. But if Miss Eat Lolly is willing to serve as your guarantor, then we can release you from custody. Ah, uh, sure. I'd be happy to do that. I don't have any more time to waste here. I still have other things to do. Understood. Thank you very much. Mr. Auroron, please report back to the Speaker's Chamber as soon as you've received notice of the Archon's decision. I understand. Thank you. And thank you too, Granny. Huh. Well, at least you won't need to hide your face anymore. Traveler, Paimon, no well. thank you very much for your help. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about my side of the deal. Once mm. Auroron is settled, I'll go talk to Shilonen and get started on forging an ancient name for you. Grazie. Oh, you. Finalmente. Conto su di te. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. It's as good as done. You can just go twiddle your thumbs or something while you wait for the good news. Bye for now. Okay. Come with me, Auroron. We've got to find you a place to stay for the night. Goodbye, other granny. Ciao, Auroron. Non possiamo tipo fermar. Mm. Sì. What does he really want? Eh. Esatto, Paimon, devo parlarti. Devi sapere. Eh sì, però se non urli magari è meglio, grazie. Gentilissima. E non ho notato. Eh no, esatto. Così sembrerebbe. He sounded earnest enough just now. Paimon would have never guessed anything was happening. All that stuff about protecting eh, the Fatui and being forced to help the Fatui when he's actually been a willing accomplice all along. Dobbiamo scoprire yeah, di più. Right. Still, Paimon appreciates you telling her about this. Paimon will support you. Paimon, tu sei la mia fra. So if you want to go, we can go together. We still have another whole day before the meeting, so we'll just meet with them when the time comes. Okay. Wait till 20 next day. Uh, va bene, che palle, dovrò aspettare sempre il... Il tempo. Che palle, aspettare il tempo. Go to the agreed location. Ma ah, scusami. So, è, cioè, è così vicino? Pensavo fosse tipo molto più lontano. Stanno a due passi dalla città praticamente. Una roba criminale. Non, non rischi di essere sgamati in tempo zero? Oh, 
Please don't let this be a trap. <ride> è più una scocciatura che una preoccupazione ormai. Quindi era davvero lui. Era davvero lui. Good evening. Nice to see you again. Ok. It's you. You shouldn't pop up from behind people like that. What are you, a ghost? I'm terribly sorry. It's just a force of habit. Ugh. And what's with you apologizing all the time? You sound so polite and honest, but you're actually doing shady stuff behind people's backs. You're right. Granny tells me that too. Huh. Come to think of it, you remind me of her. Sometimes you two sound really similar, you know. Mm, okay. So you're gonna call Paimon Granny too now? Well, I could. <ride> Dai, andiamo, andiamo al punto, fra. Non perdiamo tempo qui. Siamo da soli, non mi sono fatto seguire, non c'è nessuno, tranquillo. It's all clear. Over to you. Excellent. The fact that you showed up proves that I was right about your character. <ride> Vabbè, un po' non me ne frega un cazzo. Yet. There's been a lot of talk about you. Child told me that you're passionate about the unknown and willing to take risks. Rather than facing you as an enemy, I would much prefer to bring you to my side. Non lo If we in allow dubbio. the current state of things to continue, we will inevitably clash. And that's a scenario that I'd very much like to avoid. Perché sai che perderesti? I've long heard of your exploits across the nations. Though you have crossed swords with my colleagues many times, I know that you are by no means an unreasonable person. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Mauwika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. Posso dire che Capitano è bravissimo nell'arte oratoria? Cioè, il modo in cui ci sta parlando... È completamente al di fuori dello standard per qualsiasi personaggio in questo gioco. Cioè, ha una capacità di convinzione, ma... In inglese si dice silk tongue, no? Quindi lingua di, di seta. È, è, è bravissimo con le parole, è fenomenale, mi piace un sacco come parla. L'hanno caratterizzato davvero da Dio. E poi è anche il più forte... Dei, dei fatui Quindi ha tutto Capitano è perfetto Sei pure un figo della madonna La vita è proprio ingiusta In order to defeat the abyss and save Natlan She still needs two more heroes to appear Wait, how did you know sì. that? Uh, never mind, guess that's not important now Beh, oddio, un po' importante lo è Però magari non ne parliamo adesso Non ho un plan Per essere franc È un plan molto rischioso Will the heroes really appear? And even if they come to her, will their power be enough to drive the abyss back? Perché ecco, in realtà questa cosa un po' è fuori è fuori dal detto, diciamo. Noi per ora abbiamo avuto principalmente due nemici. Uno erano i Fatui, l'altro era l'abyss. E io ho sempre dato per scontato che in qualche modo questi due fossero più o meno associati. Però pensandoci bene, Shnesnaya è una nazione come le altre. E in quanto tale mi aspetto che anche loro abbiano problemi con l'abis. Quindi... Quindi effettivamente i Fatui... Vedono l'abis come un nemico. E in questo senso, come si suol dire, il nemico del mio nemico può essere mio amico. Vediamo un attimo cosa trova da dirci. Se parte del plan va a rai, tutto Natlan, anche tutto Tavat, will pay for her mistakes. Ora, you may have been led to believe that this is the only plan available to her. But what if I told you she's had another emergency plan all along? The details of which she has chosen to keep hidden from you. Mi dovresti dire il contenuto di questo piano. Yes. A way to keep Natlan intact, even if her original plan fails. But given the painful cost of its execution, 
She has chosen to keep it as a mere backup plan. Hmm. Sentiamo. Whether this stems from hesitation, fear, or even naivete, I cannot say. But Natlan cannot afford to wait until she comes to her senses. My fear is that given the enormity of the decision, she will be reluctant to confront the dire reality we face until it is too late. There will be no time left to execute the backup plan. And all of Natlan will be lost to the abyss. Mi stai perdendo, però mi devi spiegare che succede. Here and now. Beh, però mi devi dire cosa, cosa, che piano è. Make a decision for her, could it mean that the Gnosis is something to do with his backup plan? I knew you'd be clever enough to see. Oh. That's right. I did not seek the Gnosis for the Tsaritsa. Since I was defeated in battle, Parliamone. I must put to rest my thoughts about the Gnosis. But even so, my Parliamone. desire to save Natlan remains unchanged. Perché? And now, I have found a new way to solve the crisis. We can implement it immediately if we reach an agreement. Ma mi devi dire di che cazzo stiamo parlando, fra? Someone's here. Huh? The captain disappeared. Wow. Something is rapidly approaching. Oh no. Che? Something. Not you, jump. It's your granny. Eccola qua. Uff. I knew something was amiss after we were separated. Hidden ceremonial tools, an unconscious traveler. I must say, I'm very curious about what you're up to. How dare you go behind our backs like this, Auroron? Colluding with the Fatui? Really? Ugh. Ai ai. Brutta situa qua, eh? Oh, here we go again. Cat got your tongue, huh? You really think you can avoid a scolding just by staying quiet? I'm not trying to avoid anything. Oh, and now you're talking back. Well, go on then. Explain yourself. What the heck are you up to? I'm sorry, Granny. I feel so guilty. Ah, uh, you! That's it! Sono Where are my tools? I swear if I don't teach you a lesson right here and now, I'll... Uh, wait, Tivali! Please calm down. We... Uh... Still learned a lot of info, didn't we? No, like the fact that the cat isn't trying to seize the gnosis anymore. Vabbè, ma questo oh, potrebbe anche non essere vero, Pai. Okay? <laughs> non dare per scontato che tutto quello che ci ha detto il nostro peggior nemico è vero. Per l'amor di Dio, un minimo di criterio, un minimo di senso logico. Cioè. No, a parte che comunque non ci ha dato un cazzo di. di, di, di utile come informazioni. Ci ha detto che. Ma Wika ha un uh, piano secondario, un backup plan che però potrebbe non voler mettere in atto. E non ci ha detto qual è. Ci ha detto che questo Paimon... Sì, che questo Paimon, che questo piano... Questo Paimon... Questo piano ha a che fare con lo Gnosis e che lui non sta cercando più di raccattarla perché è troppo debole. Ma onestamente non ne sono particolarmente sicuro di questa cosa, potrebbe essere tranquillamente una cazzata. Basta, cioè su queste due cose abbiamo scoperto e sono tutte e due potenzialmente o false o menzogne o comunque non ci ha aggiunto nulla di nuovo. L'unica cosa che sappiamo, o meglio che possiamo quantomeno chiedere a Mafuika per averne la certezza è l'esistenza di questo piano secondario. Però, boh, lascia un po' il tempo che trova l'info che ci ha dato, capitano, eh? Listen well, Auroron. You're only getting Auroron. out of this now because of the traveler's plea. This isn't over. You hear me? Uh, you're right, traveler. Let's go. We can discuss this more back in the city. You two keep an eye on Aurora for me, okay? The decision with the government is there for the most crucial moment. If Aurora is still here, maybe he's still there. Eh, infatti, possiamo chiedere a lui? 
Possiamo? Dove sta? Qui? years I've never had a child cause me so much grief do you seriously not see what's at stake here you've got a head on your shoulders Auroron use it <laughs> wow. did you help the captain? Cattivo. and I want the truth this time <clears throat> <laughs> no answer think you're being smart <sighs> then let me ask a different question what does the captain want What is his purpose in Natlan? Uh, uh. <sighs> really? You're just going to stonewall me? E infatti perché lo fa? Cioè... Uh. <laughs> che, che versi sono? Parla! Eh, just use your punto. brain for a second. Sembro me... Sem What sembro io... Quando mi interrogavano in matematica. Only endless trouble awaits you and everyone in the tribe. Quanto You've fa di più qua? Uh. Why would you throw that all away now? If you're worried per due. about something, just talk mm. to me. Granny would much rather we had a conversation instead of constantly clashing like this. Uh. Bravo, Sid. Ororon, se fai un altro verso io ti caccio. Ti caccio, ti picchio. I'm sorry that you have to hear all this. Ma sei un coglione. Sei un coglione, era super imbarazzante. It's like going to visit a friend at his house only to suddenly hear your friend berating a naughty Saurian. Well, that's Vabbè, okay. an oddly specific analogy. Wait, did one of your friends really do that? <laughs> Fai monti a dopo. Yes. <laughs> Fai monti voglio bene. Every time I scolded his Saurians, they would look at me the same way you're looking at me now. Helpless and embarrassed. Wait, but you're the one getting your head chewed off. Stop making this about us! Dio, lo paimon! Noi vogliamo risposte qui. Uh, indeed, you've got a point. Then please just hang in there for a little while longer. Granny should be done with her scolding session soon. <laughs> Qualcosa mi dice che non è la prima volta. Oh, you dare gossip between yourselves instead of listening to me? You. Uh, sorry, sorry, Granny. <sighs> sorry, Granny. <laughs> Granny, you know what? Fine. I'm perfectly aware that everything I say goes in one ear and out the other. You're all grown up now, so why would you listen to an old hag like me? You say all the right things, but then you go and completely ignore me. Well, if that's how you're going to treat me, you can stop sending Aoife over to my place to deliver your stupid vegetables. I don't need anything from you.
scusa <ride> scusa la mia ragazza ha panicato fortissimo perché c'è un insetto in casa sua e non sa come vivere e quindi ha grossi problemi a gestire la situazione comunque dicevamo Sitlali è ancora incazzata nera che stop sending IFA ove chi cazzo è IFA? Sto dicendo uh, niente no, è incazzata di brutto a quanto pare um, who's IFA? la delivery person? Oh, that's irrelevant the point is he hangs out with this kid so he must be no good Ah, yeah. You kids get to a certain age and suddenly act like you know it all. There's nothing I can say to get through to you. Auroron, if you're still thinking about that so-called duty, then please just forget about it. The ley lines did not fall to this state because of you. Mm. And we've long closed the book on that incident. Uh, seems they've started talking about some kind of tribal history. I'm on starting to get lost. That's not it, Granny. Hmm? Something off about that voice? In che senso? I know you tend to get down on yourself when you're upset, but I can tell I really hurt you this time. All I can say is I'm sorry. Wow, no, è completamente cambiato anche il suo pattern speech. Auroron! Where have you gone? It sounds like he's somewhere super far away, but... Isn't he right here in front of us? Mm. I'm really sorry. It's up to all of us to do everything we can to save Natlin. So I've got to go. Merda, era lontanissimo. Get back here this instant! Auroron! <coughs> what is this? Powder from plant spores? Is that the trick he used? What just happened? How was he able to suddenly get so far away like that? Oh, it's a trick of his. If you grind spores into a powder and spray it in the air, it can be manipulated to create an illusion. Aww. He pulled it off flawlessly. He must have put a lot of time into perfecting it. Don't tell me that's how he's been hunting in the fields these days. Oh, couldn't he have picked up something more useful? Ugh, little brat. That's it. The next time we meet... I'm definitely going to break his legs. Whoa, Madonna, ok. Ho esagerato. <laughs> But still, why does he feel like he needs to run from us? If his goal is also to protect Natland, then can't we work together? Sì, da un E infatti non ci stanno dicendo un cazzo. I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation with them earlier. But even if you'd been able to hear them out, There's no guarantee you would have gained anything substantial. Auroron probably did everything he could to get away because he knew I'd get the truth out of him sooner or later. Hmm. Ah, oh, that brat. I swear. Kevin probably has some sort of substantial plan, otherwise Auroron would have no reason to keep following him. Eh, sì. Cioè, c'è da capire se gli ha fatto tipo il lavaggio del cervello, o se ha addirittura preso il controllo del suo corpo in qualche modo. Si è usato le carte per ora. Maybe first they just approached the pirate and confirmed what Captain said. Also, the roar on stubbornness is hurt Sid Lolly deeply. Che cazzo? No. I need to find a way to comfort her. Uh, what was that? Uh, infatti, dici più sulla sua storia. Uh, we've got quite a long walk back to the city. Let's take our time. It'll give me a moment to figure out how to explain all this. Hmm. Stadium. Do you two have some time? Feeling hungry? How about we get something to eat? Hmm. All right, it's been a while since we last ate. Now that we can relax, Paimon just realized how hungry she is. Oh, uh, then let's go. We can find somewhere to sit down and talk. Food and drinks are on me. No, tranquillo. Siamo ricchi sfondati. You're not gonna take her offer? Uh, that's right. See, Lolly has gotten a lot quieter since Aurora ran away. She seems to be having a hard time. Uh, she's right. We're seasoned adventurers, so we're more than capable of paying our own bill. Hey, come on now. You won't even let me take you out for some food and drinks? 
<sighs> I just wanted to treat you to a meal. Uh, are you sure? We can save you some Mora. <laughs> uh, Mora is the least of my concerns. Besides, we're definitely due a meal after all the time we've spent together. Let me get this one. I might be an old hag, but I like to think I'm not completely useless. Beh, se l'ho usata solo per pagare non è proprio il massimo. Non so se vuoi essere ricordata per quello. Che carino poi. I'm sure a juicy grilled steak will work wonders. Sempre. Go to the Da qui forse. Sbagliato. Fuck me. Hmm. It's a fair spot to sit. I'm buying some food for trees, but I'll sit down because I'm chugging down a bottle of the bottle of wine. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. What are you looking at? Uh, do you see two people standing by the door? They look like spitting images of each oh, other. Oh, wow. Are they twins? <laughs> Bracchissimo. Uh, I guess my mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. Give me another bottle, boss. Uh, do you think she's drunk? Credo che non ci sia neanche da chiederlo, Paolo. Oh, miss. Oh, my. It's not every day you get to see Granny Eatsley here with some friends. Not to mention ones who've made a huge name for themselves recently. Siamo noi. Oh, so you've heard of us? <laughs> of course I have. Aren't you the ones who saved Kachina and brought her back? Sempre no Chloe. wonder you hit it off with Granny Seed Lolly. She wouldn't spend time with just anybody, you know. <sighs> I don't even remember the last time I saw her with a new friend. Wait, so you call her Granny too? Well, given our ages, it'd probably be more accurate for me to call her my great-great-granny. What? <laughs> She's one of the most famous people at the Masters of the Nightwind. Most days, hardly anyone even dares talk to her. Wow. Huh? Gossiping about me right in front of my face now, are you, Chanka? Oh, please, Granny. I wouldn't dare. I'm just beyond happy to see you bring over some new friends. After all, any friends of our regulars are sure to be great customers, too. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Go on now. I'm sure the other customers would like to talk to you as well. There's no need to keep staring at me. I promise I'll keep my alcohol down until I leave. <laughs> well then, you have my. Non abbiamo tanti ubriaconi come personaggi. Ci sono 20 di famoso perché beve tanto. From her train, you start rolling with she's like a drone working through some some cover but okay. No, 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 è completamente spatta. Non sta pensando a niente di particolare. È proprio spatta spatta. Who's that? You got some gall calling me by my first name. Let me guess. You want to test your skills against Granny Eatsley, don't ya? Uh, are you still with the seat, Lolly? You're kind of talking to no one. Uh, you chumps come around here, picking fights with me. Well, you know what happens next. You lose, and then run off home to tell everyone about how I'm this big scary bully. It's okay. always the same story. You brats start it, I finish it, and then I end up with the reputation of being some kind of terrible monster among the shamans. I mean, come on. Monster? Me? Really? What did I do to deserve that? Mi ha preso la sbronza triste. Exactly. Yeah, 
And while we're at it, I'm not some lazy slacker either. Between meditation, advising the chief, and speaking with the Wyab, I actually have a pretty packed schedule, you know? <laughs> oh yeah. And I have to mentor all the new kids. Hey, new kid. You? Yeah, you. So you? Don't play dumb. Didn't I teach you how to find Flo Justin? You In see? effect, you see. I know my stuff. I'm a good teacher. You tell him. Grazie. Oh, certo. That's more like it. About dang time someone showed me a little respect. Yeah, Granny's a hard worker, all right. You can always rely on old Granny. <laughs> <sighs> Did she just fall asleep with her eyes open? Oh, jeez. Behind this pitch black curtain, a chapter of hatred reveals itself. Behind the smoke, the lingering smoke. Kick off, uh, she's meditating again. She does this whenever she's had a few. Is this meditation? Her mind's actually racing at this point. It's quite the opposite of sleep. Oh, okay. Is this another specialty of the Masters of the Nightwing? No, I'd say it's an ability that's unique to Sitlali herself. While she can easily pick up everyone else's skills and tricks, few have been able to master hers. Oh, que figo. Warning, warning. Red, red, the color of danger, has now arisen within that pair of eyes. Huh? A posto. Uh, traveler? Paimon? I... Completamente sbarellata. Ha ruttato? Ma ha appena ruttato? No! Ha ruttato due volte! Ok, è passato. Questa era una close one. Tu hai okay. Paimon really thought you were about to barf all over the table just now! Ugh, how embarrassing. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. That's never happened before, I swear. I've never thrown up, not once. Va bene. Grazie per l'informazione. Are you feeling okay? Wanna take a quick walk and get some fresh air? Uh, there's so much that I want to say, but I can't. Why not? Of course you can. Just say whatever's on your mind. Uh, please, Paimon. It's not as simple as you think. We've only known each other for a few days, right? What would you think of me if I were to start dumping all of my complaints on you after we've only just met? Vabbè, oh, dai. Che tragedia sarà mai? that we wouldn't think less of you no matter what you're about to say. Uh, no, that wasn't my point at all. Seriously, don't you youngsters know anything about shame? I'm talking about shame. I've lived all these years and still can't get rid of it. Surely you know the feeling too? Um, actually, <laughs> about that. Yo, huh? Tell me what? Tell me yeah, what? This is as good a time as any. <laughs> Might as well. Quindi, devi sapere che... Non ti incazzare troppo, però. Certo. Objectively, fairly and impartially. Certo. Sure, some of us since we we need to put here in thoughts. Uh, wow. This is so you heard. Ciao. You heard my It's sì. okay, Sea Lolly. You had every right to complain about those things. Già che ci siamo, vogliamo raccontarle anche del fatto che sapevamo che Aurora. Why these things happen to me? Eh, faccio il doppio gioco. Hearing me mumble under my breath is one thing, but hearing what I mumble in my own head? That's too much. 
The it's fact. just like when you're rolling on the floor in your pajamas, but you forget to lock the door, and someone bursts in to deliver cabbages and sees the whole thing. So that, specifico, uh, <laughs> happens to you a lot. Molto specifico, come sempre, sì. to people in general, okay? A chiunque, sì, 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 a chi non è mai capitato. Doesn't matter if you're 200 years old or a thousand years old. Everyone rolls around in their pajamas sometimes. I was just picking some... <sighs> no, ho sbagliato. Fuck, però dovrei sbaglio. Take a walk with me. I have things to share with you. Looks like she's completely given up. Like those criminals who just confess everything and accept their fate. And they'll be out of time. Different spot. Uh, where's that different spot? Oh fuck. Era sopra. Merda. Vabbè. Ah, oh, well. Great view, right? Bellino. I love coming here Bellino. Wow, it's beautiful. Grazie per averci portato qui. <laughs> You're making me want to cry. Addirittura. I was an expression, okay? A figure of speech. I'm just... <sighs> embarrassed. Here you are thanking me. Even after you helped me all this time. Let's just have a casual conversation. It's easiest that way. Really? You don't seem like the kind of person who keeps things casual. Well, I guess I used to be more of a stickler for the rules. And you're right. I don't usually open up to the people of my tribe like this. I'm just an eccentric old hag to them. That story's been passed down so long. It might as well be true. But you're just a regular person. <laughs> uh, the kids of my tribe would have a heart attack if they heard you say that. Granny Eatsley is a powerful figure. Be careful around her. That's what they'd say. Well, you are powerful. Are they afraid of you? Uh, some are. Others are mad I always come out on top. <laughs> a few decades like that. And people stop knowing how to deal with you. I, but what about so you? Are you scared of me? È che non mi sembri così potente. E infatti, non non mi sembri niente di che. That's because you're not from my tribe. You don't know how many delusions of grandeur I've destroyed just by existing. Ah, sì. I make people realize that no matter how hard they work, they'll never become a living legend like me. Oh, mm. uh, not to brag or anything. <laughs> Maybe it's hard to believe. Just... just pretend I never said anything. We believe you. Shilonen has full faith in your abilities, and Aurora didn't seem scared of you. He thinks of you as his granny, right? Yes, but Aurora's a special case. Maoika already told you about her plan. And you've given so much help to Aurora and me. You deserve to learn the full truth. Eh, Aurora not like other people. As I mentioned, he was abandoned as a child. The reason being, his soul is incomplete. Oh. The masters of the Nightwind view this as a bad omen, capable of bringing about illness and misfortune. No ah, one knows who his completo. parents were. He was just left on a rock in the wilderness. It's a miracle he wasn't devoured by some wild beast. The masters of the Nightwind believe they can see human souls. And in Auroron's incomplete soul, they saw a possibility for Natlan. A possibility to turn Auroron into a vessel for lost souls. The ceremony Come would scusa? allow lost souls to gather within him. Auroron would then be sent to the Night Kingdom to return the souls to their rightful place, strengthening the ley lines and completing the ceremony. 
Beh, infatti non, non l'avrebbe ammazzato questa cosa. When damage occurs to the Night Kingdom, the souls held within disperse and remain adrift, unable to find a way back to the ley lines. This loss of souls damages the Night Kingdom even further. The ceremony can send back countless souls at once, which would benefit the Night Kingdom and the souls themselves. Of course, the vessel, Auroron, would be sacrificed in the process. Mm, I wasn't problem. surprised the chief at the time came up with the plan. The ley lines were already in a terrible state. A suitable candidate for the ceremony appears? And now you have the chance to make things better. Of course you're going to take it. When the chief asked for my opinion, I didn't give my approval, but I didn't object either. So they went ahead with the ceremony. It failed. And Auroron escaped with his life. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? By not objecting, i basically gave them the go ahead maybe they didn't have my explicit approval but it's not like i did the right thing if the ceremony was successful auroron would probably be dead eh, of course in my merda. tribe death is rarely something to fear but what kind of message would we be sending by sentencing a newborn to death by using a human life as a tool it's not right. So, when I learned the ceremony had failed, I was ashamed by my inaction and absolutely relieved by the result. The plan was never a secret. Or, I guess I should say, there was no point to keeping it a secret. A simple investigation from Auroron would reveal everything. Everyone thought he would be happy he survived. And he never really said anything to the contrary. But just as I was about to put all of it behind me, he asks this question. Would Natlan have been saved if the ceremony succeeded? Quindi lui si dà la colpa. It's not his fault. Tra l'altro. He knows that. But he still feels guilty. Auroron has a strong ability to perceive souls. More than any of us. He understands just how dire the situation with ley lines has become. Maybe he chose to work with the Fatui because he still thinks he owes a debt to Natlan. I can only imagine what they told him. Traveler, didn't the captain say he found a way to solve the crisis? Maybe that's what brought Auroron into this. Anyway, we can't just let things go on like this. We have to convince him to come back. Eh, dai, questo sarà il nostro Hi. prossimo passo. You don't look so good, Sweet Lolly. Maybe you should head back and get some sleep. Penso anch'io dopo aver bevuto uh, l'intera taverna. Drink too much. <laughs> sì. It's okay. <laughs> the fresh air is doing me good. Mm. Eccoci qua. Okay. Uh, forget that. I need to go home. I hit it a little too hard. Ah, you've helped me so much already. How do I even begin to thank you? Hey, we're friends, aren't we? Besides, you already said you owe us a favor, so you don't need to worry about us. Ah, uh, good point. Well, I'll go home and get some sleep. We can figure out our next move in the morning. Friends. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Possiamo diventare amichetti, Sitlali. Tanto noi siamo più forti di te, quindi. E sì, potrebbe essere. Facciamo che andiamo a parlare con il Pyro Arc a questo punto. Eh sì. Non è una questione di credergli o meno, è una questione di dobbiamo capire che cazzo sta succedendo. She's probably asleep. We can find her first thing in the morning. Sono d'accordo, Paimon. Sono d'accordissimo. Eccoci qua. Bene. Allora, concludiamo qui per stasera. 
Interessante, interessante. Uh, finalmente abbiamo capito qualcosina di più su Capitano, uh, abbiamo conosciuto alcuni personaggi nuovi, la situazione si infittisce molto, eh, devo dire, sono molto curioso di capire come, come hanno intenzione di sgarbugliare questa matassa che si sta creando, per cui ormai non ci possiamo fidare praticamente di nessuno, perché abbiamo da una parte ehm, Maquita che sembra averci nascosto il suo piano B, che sembra essere qualcosa di particolarmente tragico, dall'altra abbiamo Capitano che è il numero uno dei Fatui, quindi col cazzo che gli credo così di primo acchitto. Dall'altra poi abbiamo Sitlali e Owowo, che sono personaggi molto particolari. Una, a quanto pare, voleva sacrificare un neonato per la salvezza della nazione, che devo dire, fossi stato io probabilmente avrei fatto la stessa cosa, cioè nel senso, è un neonato. È un neonato, alla fine non ha neanche i genitori. Non... Lo so che è bruttissimo da dire, però oggettivamente, cioè, se ci fosse di mezzo la vostra famiglia, cioè la sicurezza, la salvezza, l'incolumità della vostra famiglia, dei vostri amici, dei vostri cari, dei vostri animali... Chi direbbe di no a un... Vabbè, sacrifichiamo un neonato che non mancherà a nessuno. Siamo onesti. Nessuno direbbe, direbbe di no a questa cosa. E dall'altra abbiamo, oh, abbiamo Auraran, che a quanto pare sta dalla parte di Capitano. Quindi ci possiamo fidare di lui, non ci possiamo fidare? Chi lo sa? Lo scopriremo nella prossima puntata, forse. Secondo me lo scopriremo molto più avanti, però... Magari qualche risposta l'avremo già da probabilmente domani. Credo che streamerò domani pomeriggio quando torno dalla visita. Comunque, signore e signori, un bacione, grazie mille per essere passati. Ci becchiamo alla prossima con tutta probabilità domani. Statemi bene, buonanotte. Ciao belli.